Hello everybody, my name is Docking Dude. And if my voice sounds a little bit off, I've had a sinus cold for the last few days, and it just makes things a little more complicated. So you may hear me cough, I apologize ahead of time. Anyway, this is a tutorial on how to make a super productive auto sifter if you're like say playing Project 003 or another one that has the auto sifter mo or auto sifter um bring that off. This is an old map. Um uh, the auto sifter is from Ex Nihilo Creatio. So if you have that mod, you can use this as well. It's a stone axle, hopper, stone gears, and pistons. Uh, you also use the stone axle, at least one of them, to push off from the main sifter. And then water wheels just connect onto the ends with their own stone axles attached. I uh, simply just put a block of water and it'll push all of them along. This one's not quite so fast, but um, this is how you get, well, chief production. <coughs> anyway. The auto sifter. Let's see if I can go down here. Just attaches to at least one of the sieves, and you can attach sieves side by side, and they'll auto connect to each other. Now, if you want a high production value, I have item duct and resonant servos on here. Uh, attach a hopper, and I'll explain why. And this will continue on to a chest as you would have out here and see I've got tons of ore just chilling because you know in this particular mod I don't need it but oh might as well put my armor on. I don't know why I was sitting in my inventory. Anywho um come up to the top here I just add it on you don't really need like the second and third layers but all you do is attach, um, oh shoot, see I have about 12 of them sitting here with diamond meshes, you can have whatever mesh you want, it doesn't matter, you can have basic meshes, just put a water block in the corner and when the items pop out from the auto sift, it will all push down and in, into the hopper, which will push it down into where the item duct is and it will pop out, very easy to do, very very easy not really super complicated materials now say you don't have the technology to make I think it look pretty uh the item duct and the resident servo hey understandable your early game uh say you're doing a sky block or a regular map it doesn't matter either way it works um what i would do is just put another hopper <coughs> directly below this one and have the bottom sticking into the next hopper and just gonna break those. I would just have another hopper or doesn't even matter if you want to just put say a hopper just pointing this direction just have a chest sitting there and the items will just pop into the chest making auto sieving easy as cake. There's pie, whichever one you prefer. But this is an easy way to make your auto sifter super productive and super easy for you. Um, I don't think I can do this. Let me um, do this here so I can show you what I'm talking about. I'll just pop in a couple blocks, things of sand. Now, what I used to do is this chest here if I'm correct in my assumptions here this pickaxe is way overpowered the no reason I'm doing that because that's going to interfere. You don't want these to connect, otherwise the sand is just going to wind up in that chest over there. But I'm 
Am I doing this right? Yeah. So what you want to do is not what I just did, but you want to stick it up. You can have any kind of item pipe, item duct, whatever you want to use going from this chest into the auto sifter so it will automatically place. And then it'll do what I said before. So we're going to watch this happen. <laughs> and ta-da, the sand automatically goes in. And see, it's automatically doing it. All the items, oops. All those items go into there. And to show you guys... I don't know why I did that. But it will automatically process everything and put it into this chest. So you can just come along, grab the ore whenever you're ready. And see, it just automatically goes into that hopper. See, the hopper is full. It empties into the re re Well, you don't need a resonant. You can use any servo. But the resonant is just the fa one fastest. Or the fastest to use. And it will just progress right into here. And we can watch the items. Yep, see? Going up. So that's uh, my tutorial on the auto sifter and how to make it really super automated and easy to use. Uh, all of this really doesn't take that much in terms of material. Like I said, you can use a regular servo or you can use item pipe or... Anything that can draw items from a particular, from a hopper. Or like I said, uh, I'm going to show you guys this real fast. We're just going to grab a regular oak chest. And we're going to grab a wrench. So I can demonstrate even with <coughs> not much technology that you can do it. Do it. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and can I destroy this one? No, 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 I can. I can. I can. That's not gonna Yeah, maybe you can still open it up. Oh, 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 oh. Uh. Okay, unforeseen circumstance there. Didn't expect that. Ah, shoot. Okay. Little sidetrack to my plan here. Little sidetrack. Um, let's go back to the plan I had before. Hooper. Yes, it's a Hooper. All right, we're just going to do this real quick. And why I have the wrench is so we can... No, I don't want you there. Whoop. Where did the... Oh, it don't matter. I'll play this map anyway. But see how this hopper is now going to there and into the chest? Let's try that out again. I'll grab some more sand. Just for demonstration purposes. Don't worry about the sword, it's got to your end game for this pack. Alright, so we're gonna see. Ta da! It'll go directly from in there to in there to in here. So you don't have to have an item duct or anything, just a couple of hoppers. See how that's just draining? See how that's going up? Yeah, so you can easily automate it with just a couple of hoppers and a chest. Making it so easy to just automate sifting. Makes it so much easier, cleaner. But I wanted to show you guys this little tutorial on how to do it. 
The hardest part is just getting this part set up. <coughs> um, and getting the meshes together. But once you get all the meshes and stuff, it's just it's super easy. You just gotta build a small wall around it so the water don't get out and it just pushes into the water just pushes the items into the hopper, which puts it into another hopper, which puts it into a chest. And they can just come along and grab it at your whim. So go enjoy your favorite show while your items are automatically sifting. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.